When the world first heard about the State Route 72, many thought it was just another elaborate concept that would never work out. But with more information coming to light, it's becoming more obvious that Lockheed Martin was working on something truly revolutionary, something that would put the State Route 71 to shame. So what's really going on behind the closed doors of the Skunk Works? Is it true that the next step into the future of American aviation has already been taken, only in secret? Join us as we unveil the new State Route 72 upgrade, a 5-plus generation jet, the State Route 72 Dark Star. Lockheed Martin's successor to the legendary State Route 71 Blackbird is finally emerging from the shadows. Building on the legacy of the State Route 71 Blackbird, the State Route 72 Dark Star is said to be part of a top-secret U.S. Air Force project to dominate the skies and project power to the enemies. Let's get some things clear about this futuristic fighter jet. But before that, let's take a glimpse at the plane about to lose its place as the Lord of the Skies. The State Route 71 Blackbird The State Route 71 Blackbird is one of history's great aircraft. While operational, it was truly an amazing spy plane that broke speed record after speed record. But the State Route 71 was also remarkably expensive to operate, which is why, after the Cold War ended, Congress put the Blackbird spy plane to sleep. The legendary Blackbird was a long-range reconnaissance plane with remarkable performance characteristics. Equipped with two Pratt and Whitney J-58 turbojet engines, this device could reach a speed of Mach 3.2 and fly at an altitude of 85,000 feet, which forced the pilots to put on spacesuits so as to not simply lose consciousness. To put it into context, commercial planes fly at around 35,000 feet. The State Route 71 was so fast that, to evade surface-to-air missiles, the jet would simply accelerate to outrun missiles. The Blackbird was specialized and distinct to its very last component. The jet needed to do things no other jet could do. As a result, the State Route 71 shared roughly zero commonality with any other airframe. So building, operating, and maintaining the plane also required specialized and distinct components. That's expensive and logistically complicated. For example, the aircraft had the smallest radar cross-section available to Lockheed at the time of its development. So, on a closer look, the Blackbird is actually an early attempt at stealth design. The State Route 71 paint was a black ferret iron radar absorbing paint that radiated heat from the surface many times more efficiently than bare metal. Additionally, it reduced skin temperature, thermal stress on the airframe, and gave the Blackbird an even more menacing appearance. About 85% of the structure was made of titanium, and the rest was made of polymer composite materials. To avoid unnecessary waste, Lockheed specialists used an easily machined titanium alloy that softens at a lower temperature. But the high temperatures that arise during flight at speeds of several Mach required a special approach to the design and operation of the device. Fuselage panels were manufactured to fit only loosely with the aircraft on the ground. Proper alignment was achieved as the airframe heated up with thermal expansion of several inches. Because of this, and the lack of a fuel sealing system that could remain leak-free with extreme temperature cycles during flight, the aircraft leaked JP-7 fuel on the ground prior to takeoff, annoying ground crews. The main sections of the SR-71 skin were corrugated rather than smooth, causing aerodynamicists to jokingly call the Blackbird the Mach 3 Ford trimotor, due to the latter's peculiar corrugated aluminum skin. But this was quite reasonable for a new aircraft since high temperatures would simply lead to splitting or twisting of the smooth skin, while the corrugated skin could expand vertically and horizontally, having increased longitudinal strength. The State Route 71 was designed with the focus of being undetectable on enemy radar, and it achieved this with remarkable success. The engineers even went as far as to use cesium-based fuel additives to reduce the radar visibility of exhaust plumes. In 1974, the State Route 71 set the record for the quickest flight between London and New York. In 1976, it became the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft previously held by its predecessor, the closely related Lockheed YF-12. As of 2025, the Blackbird still holds all three world records. However, as mentioned before, this legendary colossus wasn't all green, and it soon fell victim to high costs. 
the State Route 71 cost as much as $200,000 per hour to operate when all of its ancillary expenses were factored in. Part of that cost stemmed from the fact that it was a small, specialized fleet. Because of the small number of jets built, 32, and its unique design, the State Route 71 was a maintenance hog. It also required a specialized logistical train, particularly for its exotic fuel, which cost $18,000 per hour in 1989 at least. It was this reason that became one of the cornerstones in Congress's decision to stop operating this reconnaissance aircraft. The Blackbird was initially retired in 1990, even before the fall of the Soviet Union. Eventually, however, three of the jets were reactivated by the Air Force at the insistence of Congress for a brief period between 1995 and 1998. The U.S. Air Force finally retired the State Route 71 aircraft in 1998, although NASA operated the last two airworthy aircraft until 1999, after which they took their final bow and went to rest. As the years passed without any replacement for Blackbird, questions began to rise, and it was then that the talks of a hypersonic successor to the Blackbird became a more and more pressing need. Needless to say, the task of finding a suitable replacement was not an easy one, and it's quite understandable. According to some sources, over the years of service, the State Route 71 managed to outrun more than 4,000 missiles fired at it. It operated with virtual impunity even in the most hostile airspaces. That's what the U.S. needs to replace. Little wonder it's a difficult task. Many people believe that the first rumors about the State Route 72 appeared in 2007, but the truth is that it had in fact happened in the very early 2000s when Skunk Works realized that the era of the State Route 71 had come to an end and the time had come to prepare a worthy replacement for it. 2006 to 2007 are very relevant years for Lockheed engineers, mainly because in that period they collaborated with the Aerojet Rocketdyne team and had been working on an engine capable of hypersonic speed. Since this time, Aerojet Rocketdyne applied their scramjet technology, supersonic combustion ramjet to the engine design of the SR-72 since it was supposed to receive an advanced air-breathing propulsion system which would be able to work equally well not only at subsonic and transonic, but also at supersonic and even hypersonic speeds. The SR-72 is not just a fast plane. It's the State Route 72 is a revolutionary aircraft, unmanned, reusable, and the first of its kind, designed to exceed 4,000 miles per hour. It flies faster than Mach 5. That's fast enough to cross the Atlantic in just over an hour. Unlike its predecessor, the manned State Route 71 Blackbird, the State Route 72 eliminates risk to pilots by operating autonomously, making it ideal for dangerous missions. This jet is built to outrun the most advanced surface-to-air missiles. It represents the future of high-speed, autonomous warfare. But it's not just about speed records. The State Route 72 is designed for deep reconnaissance, surveillance, and strike missions behind enemy lines. Thanks to its hypersonic velocity, it could enter and exit hostile airspace without being detected, ending battles before they begin. It's fast, stealthy, and nearly impossible to intercept. The State Route 72 may also serve as a launch platform for hypersonic missiles, such as the upcoming high-speed strike weapon. That means it's more than a spy. It's a heavily armed drone, capable of both surveillance and direct engagement. In modern warfare, speed isn't just about arriving first. It's about catching the enemy off guard and breaking their ability to respond. With this aircraft, commanders could gather intelligence or strike targets faster than the enemy can react. For years, there were doubts about whether the State Route 72 even existed. But in 2013, Lockheed Martin Skunk Works officially confirmed its development, calling it the son of Blackbird and promising it would fly at Mach 6, twice the speed of the State Route 71. They noted that while the State Route 71 was built with mid-20th century tools, like slide rules and paper, the State Route 72 would be born from advanced digital design and manufacturing. In 2016, Lockheed CEO Marilyn Houston announced a breakthrough that would allow the State Route 72 to reach Mach 6 and produce a prototype the size of an F-22 for under $1 billion. Two years later, Lockheed VP Jack O'Banion cited key advances, like 3D printing and digital modeling, that made the State Route 72 a reality.